senior here at Phoenix Mill Middle School. And we would like to welcome all of our honored guests that are out there today, but also our student body and staff. Veterans Day is a federal holiday in the United States observed annually on November 11th. It is for honoring military veterans of the United States Armed Forces. The Armed Forces were made up of the Air Force, Army, Coast Guard, Marines, and Navy. Originally, this day was known as Armistice Day, marking the end of World War I. At the urging of the major U.S. veteran organizations, Armistice Day was renamed Veterans Day in 1954. It is a day where we can recognize and honor those who chose to serve this great country, protecting its people and its ideals. Our staff, faculty, and students would like to say thank you to those who decided they were willing to put everything on the line for this country. Our students and staff have been working hard on today's assembly, and we hope that you enjoy it. At this time, I would ask that you stand for the presentation of the colors brought to you by the Fayette County Army ROTC. Please remain standing as we have our students, Amelia Tingle, Elijah Jones, and Guiana Rosada say the Pledge of Allegiance, and then after that, the music department will play the Star Spangled Banner.
Thank you. You may be seated. We will now hear a selection from the Bennett's Mill String Symphony under the direction of Mr. Anderson. They will be playing the fanfare in celebration by Mr. Michael Tompkins. As I mentioned earlier, our students have been working very hard in preparation for today's assembly. The next sequence is going to be a representation from our 6th grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade about what it means to be a veteran to them. Our 6th grade will come up and they'll tell us about the meaning of veteran. After that, we will hear a performance by the Bennett's Mill Middle School Band under the direction of Mr. Fielos. And it will be every voice and every uh, every voice and sing by James Weldon Johnson and John Roseman Johnson. Following that, we will have our seventh graders who will be interviewing veterans who work here at Bennett's Mill Middle School. This will then be followed 
by a piece from our course under the direction of Ms. Peoples. How do you tell a veteran thank you? This will then be followed by our eighth graders who will be reading a writing that they have done. Enjoy. Good morning, Bronco Nation. 
For this Veterans Day, I would like to thank all veterans, but especially the ones at our school. Ms. Dickinson, can you please come down? who was in the military for 10 years and served four terms. Ms. Dickinson said that she feels that schools are trying to help students better understand Veterans Day and why veterans should be honored. She also says that she still keeps in touch with a lot of her military friends to this day. Recently, one of her friends from the military got sick and the whole unit got together and went to go see him in the hospital. If that's not family, I don't know what is. Thank you, Ms. Dickinson, for your service.
time, I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker. Oh, sorry. At this time, I'd like to introduce our patrons. It's very important for veterans of the military to have a special holiday devoted to them. But the reason why I stand for this statement is because I believe in respect. Veterans have fought for us to protect us. And while they have fought for us, they have felt pain and every emotion in the world. This is because it isn't easy to become or to be a veteran. While they have prepared or fought in wars, they sacrificed their lives. So it's very important to have a day to focus on them and thank them. This can show respect and loyalty to them. Yes, saying thank you can make them feel good, but there are other ways to thank them. You can sing, as in the marches of the Air Forces, you can dance, you can make letters, and you can do speeches like I'm doing. And even create your own way to thank veterans. Showing appreciation to veterans can also help them realize what they have done. And they have done amazing things. Think about it. If veterans hadn't made great sacrifices for you, our way of life would be much different. We will always be grateful for your unwavering dedication towards the service and protection of our country and way of life. Thank you, veterans, for your service. Happy Veterans Day. Now I would like to introduce our keynote speaker. Mr. Jimmy L. Lucas, Jr. is a husband, father, grandfather, educator, guide, and best-selling author. He currently has 12 grandchildren. He's a senior guide for Custom Built Lifestyles Global Headquarters International in Atlanta, Georgia, and is the head of the Boys of Life International Ministries, Motivating Excellence in Christ. For 42 years, he has been a Christian leader and educator. And for 30 years, he served in the United States Army, retiring as a Master Sergeant. Mr. Lucas and Custom Built Lifestyle Organization is now marked as a global leader in the field of leadership, stewardship, and relationship. Known as the guide or point man, I would like to introduce and present the father of seventh grade teacher, Ms. Lindsay Lucas, the Custom Built Man, Master Sergeant Jimmy L. Lucas, Jr. I'm not going to stay back here. I want to say thank you. My, my queen wanted me to wear this again. So I'm thankful. And of course, my daughter as well. I want to personally thank Mr. Ward, Ms. Smith, Congressman. I'm honored. I visit veterans program here year after year. But I know I didn't always be one to be selected to be of this year, so I'm so grateful and thank you. And we're gonna be just, first of all, smile. Y'all yeah, just smile. I like it. I wonder what he's going to talk about. They gave you three hours. Is this okay? See, you woke up. See, you like, okay, my daughter said, not even then. But what I want to say is that I'm grateful and I'm so thankful for being here, these veterans. And we're going to have three folks. First, we're going to just thank the veterans, thank the educators, thank the guys in all different types of uniforms. For my colleagues, thank you. The senior United Commission officers and officers, thank you. Been in that foxhole together. It makes a difference. So I want to say to the civilian people, thank you for praying for us. 
the Vietnam guys that came home, I just salute you and say welcome home. Because they wasn't treated like Desert Storm, Desert Shield, Panama. But I want to say thank you. You made a difference, and you are the difference. So I just wanted to first, I just want to just address the, the children. And um, if y'all don't care, I can just address the children in the way I just want to get it. The way I want to get it. Y'all gonna find out that I'm not like a normal man. The children. <laughs> y'all check me. I'm good. And you're unique also. And I want to say something to you. When I started off in third grade, I had 35, excuse me, 32 Fs. Mm. 12 Ds and 5 Cs. Mm. Yep. That's right. So I've been there. But guess what happened a few years later? In the ninth grade, guess who was number one in the class? Guess what happened three years later? Guess who was on the stage and all my buddies said, my nickname was Jamusi Jamusi. How did you get up there? And this is what I want to say to you. My mother said you do two, two things. And I told my daughter, she was educated, mother was educated. I said, my son was in the military as well. And it's two things. You work, then you play. Don't get it mixed up. You work, then you play. That's how I was able to be on that stage. I kind of blew it because I was supposed to be the valedictorian, but I was smelling myself in 12th grade. I told my mom, oh, okay, I'm a senior engineering student, and I got a 70. I've never had a 70 in my life. And I missed valedictorian by a couple of months. But that's okay. Because after that, God bless us the college and all that. Guess who also have keys to different cities? Check it out. Just trying to tell you. So, so where you are, parents, they're going to be all right. They're going to be fine. Keep loving on them. Keep loving them. You young people, you are important to us. Believe it or not, we were there before. Daddy, mom, you don't understand. You don't understand. Um, like we just skipped and made 40, 50, 60 years old, right? Parents, you know. So what I'm saying is that you're going to be okay. Parents, they're going to be okay. Use the acronym CARE. CARE always revitalize expectations. Do that to the children. Care for them. Love them. Now I want to say this, then I'm going to transition to the educators, and then we're going to say something to the veterans, and then we're going to see. I just want to say, you are custom built for greatness. Last night at midnight, today is a brand new day. Appreciate it. Look in the mirror every morning and understand who you are. Regardless of what anyone else say, you are a VIP. Matter of fact, put, put the VIP please, man. Oh, Mr. Ward, I thought VIPs came out of the school. I'm gonna, ask, I'm gonna say this again. Each one of you have vision, influence, and purpose. I'm going to say it again. Each one of you, the almighty God downloaded greatness on all of us. You have vision. You have influence. You have purpose. I'm going to ask again. Will the real VIPs stand? Now, everybody should be in this building standing. Everybody is be able to stand. Everybody. You have vision. You have influence. You have purpose. You are businessmen, CEOs like myself and others. You have vision. You have Influence. You have a purpose. Regardless of what anybody says, whenever you are in into a room and they ask for VIPs, you have the right to stand up. Never let someone else dictate who you are. Now you know who you are. You can be seated. Thank you. 
You got an identity that no one can take from you. So you was waiting on someone, looking around, looking for someone else. You are a VIP. So young people, I haven't made the transition here since my three hours is almost up. So I just want to say to you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Educators, staff, never take a permanent attitude for a temporary situation. We need you. The janitor, the educator, the staff, we need you. You appreciate it. As leaders, guess what we have to do? Serve and lead and lead to serve. I'm going to say it again. Regardless of your business owner, CEO, senior executive, I have an opportunity to talk to whatever. Matter of fact, I was sitting next to an individual last weekend with sales $2 billion, not to M, $2 billion for sale. It was happy to just to meet me. Check that out. See, I don't lose myself regardless of who I'm next to. So educators, if you don't receive things like you think you need to hear, speak to yourself every day. When you come in, this, in the classroom, when you come into this building, when Mr. Ward give you those great speeches, and sometimes you might not be recognized, understanding your purpose. Other words I used to tell the people, learn how to rap. Be responsible, accountable, and proven. I can't stay there all day. As the old, old preacher said, I gotta hit you and run. Be responsible for it. Respect. Allow yourself when you do make errors. Then have a plan to correct it. That's the rap. So I just want to say to the educators, thank you. To my teachers, Ms. Jordan, my engineer teacher, I want to say they're gone. But thank you. We need it. Whatever level of education that you begin to demonstrate, uh, disseminate information, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, teachers, I know these children can scratch away your donation. I know. I've been an educator, oh yes. But guess what my teacher, my daughter said something years ago, Daddy, teacher, why don't you come to school? I said, baby, I have to put you guys on the wall. No way! You gotta be anointed to teach students. Because you guys can, you know how you are. But thank you for being you. So educators, thank you so much. Now I gotta, the ladies, the vets. These men and women. Thank you so much. You appreciate it. your parents that served in World War I and II and all that. Korean War, Vietnam. So, thank you. You are important. Then, Every day you wake up, we have victory every time. That's what you mean to us. You have victory every time you wake up. Because we want to say thank you to serve. Thank you for the sacrifice. And I don't say to you guys, never take a permanent attitude for a temporary situation. You are still needed. Your wisdom is still needed. Old preacher said, I've never seen the word retire in the Bible. That's why I said I graduated. I never use the word, the R word, unless someone said you retire. It's like, I graduated. The reason why I can say that, I graduated. I want to say something to the students again. Guess what? My mother had me at seven, in, in the seventh grade. What? <laughs> seven? Guess what? And she was an A student. That's right, seventh grade. So therefore, there's no excuses for me, for me not being excellent. There's no excuses for my children not being excellent. That's why I can stand and I watch my, my uncle with that Vietnam in the, in the 60s. 
in Mississippi, and I saw him in that uniform. I said, oh, I like that. And she was married also. Hmm. There's no excuse. That's why I demand certain things out of my children. That's why we demand certain things from our organization. So I just want to say to you, that I'm here because of you. I can stand because of you. So I want to say, we appreciate you. I appreciate my queen for allowing me to put this on again. My daughter. So, to all you, I salute you. Thank you. Thank you, Master Sergeant Lucas, for those very inspirational words. We now have a special treat for the veterans here today. We have a combined number by our Bennettsville Music Department where we will be playing the March of the Armed Forces. Each Armed Forces has a particular march to it. So when they start up and I call the branch of service, if you served or an active member right now in that branch of service, we would like for you to stand at that point so that you can be recognized. So ladies and gentlemen, I present the March of the Armed Forces brought to you by the Bennett's Mill Music Department. Marines. States Army. United States Coast Guard. The United States Air Force. United States Navy.
It takes a great team to put on a great assembly. So any staff member that helped organize, helped uh, with the performances or helping with the reception afterward, please stand so we can recognize you. Special thanks to Ms. Lucas for um, being our chairperson of the Veterans Day Committee. You did a great job. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Smith, for being our Master of Ceremony. Thank you, Master Sergeant Lucas. What a great word this morning. Let's give Master Sergeant Lucas a Fantastic orchestra, band, and chorus. Excellent job. Great job this morning. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, Mr. Philos, Ms. Peoples, thank you for leading these fantastic musicians. Excellent job. <laughs> Ms. Kozak, Ms. Kozak, great job on the food this morning. Didn't our student speakers do a great job this morning? Mr. Smith and I were talking about nerves this morning before you get up and make a speech. It's scary to stand up and speak in front of a thousand people, so they did a fantastic job. The other thing I enjoyed seeing this morning is all of our family members and community members who came out to join us. Thank you very much. Also, yeah, thank you, parents. Thank you for coming out. And, and then to our special guests, the ones that we are honoring today. If you are currently serving in, in the armed forces or your adventure, please stand one more time so we can recognize you. I'd like to say on behalf of the students and staff of Bennett Mill Middle School, thank you for your service and your dedication to our country. Thank you very much. As we wrap up our assembly today, I would, ask, I would like to ask everyone to rise for the retirement of the colors.
Thank you. You may be seated. So I want to I want to do a special thanks to our Fayette County High School Junior ROTC program, led by Sergeant Bell. They do a fantastic job. Thank you very much. So if you are a guest with us today, we would like to invite you to a reception in our media center uh, following this assembly. So you're all well, welcome to come to our media center and get some food. So students, you did a great job today. This is the conclusion of our program. I want you to listen to the direction of your teachers and you are dismissed. Thank you.